I pozdrav svima, ja sam Đorđe, a vi ste na kanalu Lične financije. Nastavljamo sa vlogom sa serijalom i danas imamo posljednju epizodu serije Million Dollar Traders. A, pokušat ću da napravim kratak rezime, ali ću sigurno nešto izostaviti, tako da obavezno pogledajte prethodne dve epizode, meni lično su bile vrlo zanimljive. A, imamo situaciju da smo od osam učesnika, koliko ih je bilo na početku, izgubili jednog, odnosno jedan učesnik je dobio otkaz, dok sa druge strane ovi ostali učesnici baš nešto i ne investiraju najbolje. Ono što mi nekako deluje jeste da imamo dramu sa onom devojkom Clio, dok sa druge strane imamo situaciju da se ovi ostali nešto baš ne snalaze. Ovo je posljednja epizoda, tako da se nadam da će se nešto desiti i da ćemo konačno vidjeti da li će uspjeti da ostvare profit na kraju ili ne. Naravno, njihova ideja je ako ostvare profit, pre svega zajedno kao celina, tada će oni dobiti neke bonuse. Međutim, to mi delo je poprilično nerealno u ovom momentu. Tako da, hajde da ne dužim mnogo, već da bacimo pogled na epizodu. Uz jednu malu napomenu da je giveaway još uvek u toku i još uvek možete da se prijavite i da dobijete nagrade. Izlačenje će biti u subotu, sve informacije imate na Instagram profilu i imate jednu objavu na mom kanalu, pa možete vidjeti o čemu se radi, nije ništa teško, nije komplikovano. Tako da, hajdemo na video. Hello, Daddy. Samo ovo je These eight men and women have been given one million dollars and two months to run their own hedge fund and invest in the stock market as they see fit. This is... Opet imamo onu naznaku da uh, kažu se u uvodnoj špici da im je dato milion dolara, međutim oni evo, investiraju već 5-6 nedelja i još uvek nisu dobili pun iznos kapitala, uh, odnosno nemaju sam novac na raspolaganju, tako da malo je onako i kažem, nisu baš transparentni do kraja, ali nema veze. One of those experiences that money can't buy. Go on, Lockheed Martin! It's a radical idea created by one of the city's leading hedge fund managers, Lex Van Dam. I'm taking a huge risk here. I need people who participate, who also care a lot. And if they don't care enough, then I'll make sure they care. They've had to trade during the worst economic crisis in a generation. Ovo je otprilike tačno, ako se dešava u leto 2009. ako se dobro sećam, to je bio poprilično onako turbulentan period. Tako da ovo što kažu baš i ne preteruju. Another volatile day here crude oil futures are rallying, essentially whitening. Yes, yes. While some enjoyed success. I think you've traded really really well. So you should be proud. Excellent. Others have been pushed to breaking points. What a nightmare. I don't need to feel less self-worth at the moment. Simon, do you have a say? Yeah. And one trader has already resigned. Last time I had trauma like... E sad, ovo što oni kažu da je on dao otkaz baš... Delo mi da je bio onako sporazumni raskid, ajde tako da... This was getting divorced. I mean, that gives you an indication of how awful, traumatic I'm finding this experience. I think it's time to quit. For the seven remaining traders, it's going to get a whole lot worse. We're going to have to just slam the guys down who aren't going to do it. So why should we keep you? Um, I've got two more weeks left, right? And well, you have two more weeks left if you answer the question properly. But who cares if he's not happy? They're people! No, 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 no. This is just the way the business works. Whatever personal morals or dilemmas you have, yeah, you, I believe take them home. As they enter the final push to the end, not everyone will survive. Either we get this out in the open and stop making knee-jerk, crappy judgments. No, make it's not. U biće svađe, biće svađe, u ovo će znači biti zanimljivo. We talk about it, well, yes it is, Emil, because I don't know what's going on. You have your choice whether you stay or you go. If they walk out, then it just shows, yes, it's actually really difficult to make it to the end. Znači, neko će otići. E sad, ajde, vidjet ćemo ko će to biti. Znači, 
people versus profit. Znači, već vidimo da se neka drama sprema, baš poprilično. Many professional hedge funds are struggling. So it's no wonder that for the seven remaining rookie traders, it's been an exceptionally testing time. And a split has emerged in the team. Between those with real trading potential and those who are struggling. Okay. So far, single mum Caroline has proved herself the best trader and has developed a real taste for making money. Na početku kada su ih predstavili, nikada ne bih rekao da će ona biti najbolja. Nikad. By the end of week two, I'd say I was actually starting to quite enjoy myself. And then when you have some trades that actually make money, you really start to enjoy yourself. It's just a fantastic feeling, I suppose. If you know, if you're a gambler at a casino, it's it's like it is like winning. It's absolutely brilliant. Drawing on his skills as a promoter and teacher, Emil is also doing well along with Mike, an ex-soldier, who's loving his new life as a trader. Any job where you come in at six, and the next time you look at your watch, oh my God, it's 4.30, you know, and the market's just about to close. Um, yeah, that's got to be a good thing. The youngest star is Ohi, only 20 and from Tottenham. He's a straight-A student and showing great trading skill. Recimo, ja bih za njega pomislio da je najbolji samo zato što već studira ekonomiju i mislim da ima neku, da kažemo, podlogu, odnosno neki temelj na, na koji može da se na, nadograđuje, ali dobro. When you're making money, you just become really adrenalized. The excitement, the excitement is what keeps you here. Oh, he, good level to get up, mate. Very well done. Thanks. You live and die a thousand times in a week. And that in itself actually holds a lot of value. Despite these successes, because of the traders who are struggling, the team is down over 10,000 pounds. Let's go, guys. Sam's been attempting to trade ethically, but he's lost money. And now he's having to accept the fact that most traders don't prioritize ethics. I've never really experienced it. Yeah, there's you know, no people. reason for them to. No. It's only going to be a hindrance. There's too much to think about anyway. Yeah. Which is why, as Mike says, that trading is never going to change the world. There's no reason for it to. Of course it's not. Yeah. I might change my bank balance. <laughs> <laughs> mm. My impression of what needs to happen in this world, the changes we need to make, is so totally at odds with the way that the financial world is, is going and tending towards. You have to be cold and ruthless in many ways. Um, and I haven't seen a lot of incredible human qualities emerging from the people that I've seen who are successful at this game. For Anton, there's no room for ethics in the last big push to make a profit. Over the next couple of weeks, what you're probably going to see is the difference between those that can turn on the brutality switch and make some money, and the people who are just here for the ride. If the oh, I don't mean, I don't mean, Šta ti kao investitor i trader možeš dodatno da uradiš ako već daješ svoj maksimum u smislu vremena, napora, truda, istražuješ, edukuješ se i sve, šta dodatno možeš da uradiš? Mislim, to je sad pitanje što on kaže turn the brutality switch. Šta konkretno? The desk is going to make money. We're going to have to just slam the guys down who aren't going to do it. I think it will get ugly. Hmm. There's... E sad, možda je pitanje šta on i osnivač fonda planiraju da urade sa onim investitorima, odnosno traderima, koji su u minusu. Možda oni hoće da izvrše veći psihološki pritisak na njih. To je možda njihova taktika, ali... Certain people in the group who are displaying traits of being on the brink of paralysis. And if they do actually fall into that psychological mode. There's no place for them on the desk. With a million dollars of his own money on the line, it's the investor Lex Van Dam who ultimately controls the cash and fate of the seven remaining traders. Lex wants to enforce a stricter regime. There's going to be more discipline in people being in the office. 
Znači, Lik je posle šest nedelja odlučio da hoće da se igra vojnika i da uvodi neku disciplinu, mislim. Čao yeah. point. You know, so they get a lunch between 11.30 and 12.00. At 12 o'clock they're just back on the desk. Mm-hmm. And they're not going out for little coffees, whatever. They can go for coffee at 4.30. Uh-huh. Tell them that, you know, shape up or it's not going to work. Right, of course. We've been softy, softy, and now we're going to be real. And yeah. we'll see where that leads us. Lex has already voiced his concerns to ex-vet Cleo. Cleo, you have a sec? Hmm. He thinks her problem is that despite being highly intelligent, she's too soft. If you um, are in a vet practice and you have a new person, and this new person starts crying every time there's an animal that's sick that comes in, yes. hmm. what would you do? I haven't cried every time. That's, that's <laughs> sure, no, no, but what would you do what, if, if you had a person like that? Well, personally, How would you deal with that? I would give him support. You'd give him support? Yeah. Okay. What happens if the support didn't work? I'd tell them to pull themselves together. Right. And mm-hmm. stop doubting themselves. Okay. So I'm telling you, you should pull yourself together. Absolutely. You should stop doubting yourself. Yeah. Znači, ona sad, kako da kažem, delo mi da možda i laže, jer ona je prepoznala da je pitanje u vezi nje i ona priča koje savete bi davala Čisto da kaže nešto, a da ne bude, da ne naškodi sebi i da ne ugrozi svoju poziciju u fondu trenu. Tako da. Yeah. Your capital is halved from 50 to 25. Okay. Um, as far as I can see, you know, you've been distracting the team. You know, you should focus on yourself, yeah. on your trading. Forget about everybody else. Mm-hmm. Don't go with your issues to anybody else anymore. You cannot let emotions get in the way. So you're going from 50 to 25. And if you, you know, if, if this week it's the same thing, if you get upset and you start, you know, start talking to other people about it, mm-hmm. then, you know, then this is your last week. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's how it is. Thanks very much. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. Having reduced his risk with Clio, Lex had already decided to invest this extra cash with his strongest trader, Caroline. Hmm, zanimljiv potes. I u suštini, svima u fondu bi ovo trebalo da bude dobar znak, zato što u suštini Clio ima manje kapitala na raspolaganju, Caroline ima više, i samim tim će i tim kao celina imati bolju šansu da ostvari profit. You are an example to the group, so I'm going to give you more money. So I'll give you 30 more, right. which is partially taken away from other people. Yeah. So if, if everybody starts crying around you and being depressed, yeah. you should just say, well, you know, you are the, almost like the winner, right? You've taken this from other people. It's nice to be given the extra funds to invest and for the vote of confidence. Having more money means you're actually being told to trade more. I appreciate that, yeah. That is your du- duty yeah. now. But now Lex has another headache. Amit? Hmm. Amit has so far placed 23 trades, of which 16 have lost money. You're not applying what you have been taught, mm. which is to build a portfolio. You look tired. Mm. Are you the biggest loser in my portfolio? Mm. Znači, 23 trade, 16 neuspešnih, znači dve trećine, uh, najveći da kažemo, minus ima u portfoliju. Verovatno bi Clio možda imala i veći minus da trguje, ali ona zapravo ne trguje i njen kapital je uglavnom u kešu i onda ona uopšte nema tolike gubitke. A ono što konstatuje jeste da izgleda umorno, što opet do duše. Možda i ja izgledam umorno zato što ovo radim posle posla, ali zato sa druge strane ja ne upravljam kapitalom, tako da, ajde i to da, da kažem. A, tako da, mislim da će on među prvima sada da izleti, zato što delo mi da Clio ima taj, te neke kredite, u smislu stalno se nešto provlači i sve, a recimo on mi deluje da će da, će da izleti sada. You are doing yourself a massive disservice. If you cannot change, you're gonna have to go, obviously. Yeah, you know, if you lose a lot more, you're gonna have to go. If you can't change, you have to go. So, like your portfolio, like, you know, in two days, should look very different to what it is now. Okay. Sure. You know, I can do it. Hmm. You can't just learn this through a book. It's all about experience, you know, day in, day out. I do want to prove to myself that I can do this, you know. I don't, I don't want to walk out of here thinking I can't. But, like I said, the situation I'm in at the moment is that, you know, um, when you've been kicked in the teeth so many times, you've got no teeth left, you know what I mean? It's like almost, okay, I'm going to smile anymore, right? Hmm. 
Lex still has a hundred thousand pounds of his money up for grabs. He will decide at the end of the week who to trust with the extra cash. Znači, ako on ima 100.000 trenutno koje treba da podeli, po mojoj nekoj logici, trebalo bi da nagradi one tradere koji su najuspešniji i to je to. E sad, opet sa druge strane, možda će ići na onu varijantu da podeli su ima podjednako kako bi i ovi koji su neuspešni imali šansu da se izvuku, ali jednostavno zdrava logika nalaže ako je neko tokom šest nedelja bio neuspešan, da će vrlo verovatno nastaviti i tokom one poslednje dve nedelje, a sa druge strane, oni koji su bili uspešni, da će ostati uspešni i da se neće mnogo pokvariti do kraja. Čak šta više, dodatni kapital može pozitivno uticati na njih. Tako da, onako, to bi sad ja uradio, vidjet ćemo šta će biti njihova odluka u seriji. And whether Amit and Clio will survive at all, as the traders get closer to the end of the experiment. Can you have a look at SAB Miller for me, SAB? Can you look at Nike for us, please? Can you see me and buy me a hundred? Tate and Lyle, I'd like to sell 490 shares of Dempsey. Can you have a look at Nike for me, please, N-K-E-U-S? As investors do try to balance both geopolitical tensions with supply and demand... Hedge funds are privately owned investment vehicles that are designed to make money whether the markets go up or down. The FTSE 100 fell more than 2% in the morning. Master the dark art of balancing the two and you'll make money. Further evidence today that the housing market in the UK is set for a protracted downturn. Markets in the UK, Europe and America are now open to the novices. Lehman Brothers may get $7 billion by selling its asset management unit, Noberger. Caroline has £90,000 to invest, and the other strong performers, Ohi, Mike and Emil, have £60,000. Far from being daunted, for these four rookies, trading has become almost second nature. Ah, uh, Apple, I love you. I, I love you at this point in time. <laughs> Emil's portfolio is going well, and he's not short of new investment ideas. You look at Adobe where it's open, I said last night. I can't believe it. The only problem is, he's run out of cash. Like, um, you know, it's I still rising. You know, how much it's rising. Oh, sick. But you want an endless pot of cash? Well, you know, yeah, it could nice. be possible. Yeah, yeah, you know, let's just yeah. keep well, it coming. The, Emil, it's constantly under review. Okay, cool. Right. I'm actually doing quite well today, and that's why I wouldn't mind there's some more money. You need to trust us that we'll do the right thing. Well, you okay. know, I'm in your hands, aren't I? It's not a big deal. No, no, it's not a big Stocks deal. Stocks will move on Monday as well. I know it's not a big deal, but when you find something, right, and it validates what you originally thought, it feels good, doesn't it? You know that. You've been there yourself with that feeling. Of course it does. Yeah, it's exactly. It's a great feeling. But what are you getting pissed off for? I'm not just like, you know, I'm trying to keep me book and make some money. You're the type of trader who's just got itchy fingers yeah. and you want to deal all the time, Yeah. right? You, not me, need to control that. Cool. And that's me being me, diplomatic. Emil's problem is impatience, but Cleo's is nerves. Znači, sad imamo suprotnost da zapravo Emil postaje nestrpljiv što realno nismo videli do sada i nekako mi delo je da je odjednom krenulo, da mu je sve kliknulo, da je odjednom krenuo da generiše ideje i da te njegove ideje donose profit, ali ali da nema dovoljno kapitala. How's your book looking clear? Well, it's got three positions now. What are you long, what are you short? I'm long Tate, yeah. which I'm happy about. What else? Short, S uh, long SAB, yeah. which I think is holding up considering the tap news. What are you short? Uh, Intercontinental hotels. Okay. Hmm. They're not inputted yet. If a trader buys long, they're hoping a stock will rise. If they sell short, a complex process of borrowing, selling and buying back shares, they'll profit when a stock falls. A good hedge fund trader must do both if they want to make a profit. No, no. Cleo's been cautioned for not investing. Emil wants to help. Right, that's going up. We're trading. Two things. Who are who are we phoning? No, no, stop Come it. on, phone them. Second. Phone hmm. them. Come on. Emil! This is good. Yeah, this it. is good. <laughs> Cleo, it's still going up. We spoke about this. Come on. But I don't have I don't have anything else in America to set off against. Abercrombie and Fitch is broken through, it's down to 48, it's it's two dollars down, it's still going down. 
a very good trading desk to have is when everybody's got very differing strong opinions. You don't. Ovo je zanimljivo, znači, uh, ako imate osam ljudi, uh, nje, njegova teorija je da je zapravo dobro kada postoji sukob mišljenja, jer kada neko dođe sa drugačijim mišljenjem i kaže vam koja je mana neke teorije ili načine razmišljanja koje vi imate, zapravo to tera vas da istražite koji su to nedostaci i da ih eventualno otklonite. Ili, ukoliko su nedostaci nepremostivi, da menjate strategiju. Want to have a desk where everyone agrees on everything because everyone ends up short the same stuff and long the same stuff, and then when you lose money, the magnitude of the loss is always far greater. Good. E sad, na primer, ono što što on kaže, ako se svi slažu i svi kupuju iste akcije ili svi shortuju iste akcije, ono što ja ne znam kako su to uspeli da reše, jeste koji njih osmoro. Da li je moguće da u jednom momentu imamo tradera A koji je kupio klasično akcije neke kompanije, neka to bude Nike, na primjer, a onda imamo tradera B koji je u isto vreme shortovao akcije kompanije Nike. Tako da zapravo tu ima određeni, da kažemo, konflikt interesa. Također moram da napomenem da se ovde nigde ne spomenju transakcioni troškovi što je za nas jako bitno, jer delo je da oni ulaze i izlaze iz pozicije kako god stignu, a zapravo nigde se ne govori o tome kakvi su transakcijani troškovi. Jer kada bi mi pokušali ovo u nekom stvarnom svetu da repliciramo, zapravo mi bismo prilikom svake trgovine imali transakcijani trošak od 10 do 15 evra i zapravo onda to poprilično ima utjecaj na naš krajni rezultat. Trading means following your instincts, not other people, according to ex-soldier Mike. You have your view of the world, and when you're trading, you express that view by putting money on it. And there's just too much consensus on the desk. You know, there's too many people in too many similar positions. To je sad ono što on kaže, to je čini mi se, sam rekao možda u prošloj ili u prvoj epizodi, da mi deluje kao da se stalno vrte iste kompanije. Tako da možda je to rezultat toga da zapravo svi rade slične stvari. Oh, hi, this is Claire from Traders. I'm very well, thank you. Can you have a look at Tesco's for me? TSCO. Uh, no, Tesco, please. TSCO. I just get the impression there is not enough debate uh, and people challenging other people's opinions. And I'm loath to because I think people take it personally. You know, um, and they get upset. Trading is an unsentimental business with many unwritten rules. Such as how to deal with your broker when you call to place a trade. <laughs> Ah, uh, where did you do a track day? Which one? Uh, Silverstone. How oh, Silverstone? Yeah. yeah I've rode, um, I've rode Donington, but on a really? motorbike. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Uh, so. Nači pričaju o vožnji na trkačkim stazama. Uh, Donington i Silverstone su popularne trkačke staze. Uh, na jednoj stazi se vozi Formula, na drugoj stazi se vozi, čini mi se, MotoGP ili se vozio nekada. Uh, ali delo je poprilično neformalan razgovor, znači ne pričaju o trgovini, o trejdu, nego o nečemu trećem. As far as Anson is concerned, the traders are here to make money, not friends. I'm frustrated with you guys because I just want you to get angry. I want you to be vicious on the phone. If you shout down the phone and you make them sit up in their chair, they're going to get it right. Okay? There's no downside to doing it. There's absolutely no downside. Sell 300 at 754 and a half. Thanks. Bye. Sad. Ima argumenata i za jedno i za drugo. Ja uvek volim da, ono, kada pričamo o nekom poslovnom svetu, da uspostavim kontakt sa tom drugom osobom u smislu da popričamo, da to bude malo opuštenija atmosfera. Ali opet, kako da kažem, ukoliko je reč o poslu, odradimo taj, da kažem, poslovni deo šta ima i onda ukoliko obo imamo vremena, onda pričamo. A deluje mi da... U ovom slučaju oni prvo pričaju nešto opušteno i onda tek na kraju, e, znaš, treba mi to i to. Tako da, i sad umeđu vremenu se cena možda promenila dok su oni pričali. Tako da, 
negde razumem menadžerov stav, a negde baš i ne. He's your bitch. Seriously. Just <laughs> tell me how to do everything. Seriously? But Who cares if he's not happy, he's your broker? I care! They're people! Me! No, 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 Good management. Days. Cleo, good management is allowing you to learn how to speak to these guys. You've got your unique management style. I've got my own way of doing it's things. It's not a unique no, hold management on. style. Hold on, listen, listen, right? Go on. However I communicate with people, right. I'm always going to do it in my way because I'm always going to get the best out of people how I deal with them. These guys get spoken to like this on a minute-to-minute -minute basis every day. Does that mean it's right? Right, it is right because it's the way the business works, mate. Well, does it these mean guys, it's right? No, 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 these guys, if you pick up the phone and just go, buy that, add X, that yeah. amount, buy. Yeah. Like, they don't okay. take it personally. It's not an insult, it's their business. What do you think, Amit? Well, what? I've got no problem calling you a bitch. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I think it's rude, personally. Huh? I think it's rude. I think sometimes... I never said yeah. call him a bitch. And I thought you did. It's the tone. Yeah, <laughs> sure, yeah. You've got to be firm with them from the outset. Yes. And then if they take the piss out of you, then you can go crazy, right? Yeah. But if you're not firm with them, if you're not firm with them at all for the first three conversations, they are going to take the piss out of you. Yeah. It's just it in their nature. While some enjoy the tough approach... And that is done for you. Uh, hey, Carl, does your phone do this? <laughs> There's still over two weeks to go. And life... Yours must have been my name. Life as a trader is taking its toll on everyone. Hi. Hey, mate. How are things with the boys and the girls? Um. Everyone's sick. But for investor Lex Van Dam, nothing, not even illness, should stand in the way of profit. I mean, really? Well, Sam and Ohi were sick on Friday, right? Ohi toughed it out. And uh, Sam went home early, right? right? And I think the same bug has been uh, has spread to Cleo and, uh, and Amit. Cleo uh, was sick three times last night, but she's coming. She said to me this morning, if she's going to vomit and she runs off the desk screaming, it, to, it's not because I'm emotional, it's because I'm going to be sick. No, but she should just have to tell her that to, to just put a bin next to her. They shouldn't make, be so emotional about it. She should have a bin next to everybody, hmm. and they should throw up in the bin if they have to throw up. Say, like, you know, we don't want people, like, being off the desk all day because they might throw up. Is there anyone who's close to throwing up? Get, they'll go and get uh, two bins. Um, it's, he's apparently been vomiting all night. I'm not happy. My message is that it's going to be really important for him to come in. Because okay. if at the end of the day, he doesn't have put on his portfolio, you know, he's going to have to go. Okay. At no. mid-morning, Amit arrives. It's actually a bit train journey, it's worst. You know, like, you get... Bila je bio jedan deo kad je nosio neku trenerku, ali čini mi se da je u ovom modelu svaki dan. Možda menja košulje samo. You get off and it's like, whoosh, in my head. I know, it makes like, no one you feel like that. I was in a cube thinking, oh my god, I'm going to collapse any minute yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, yeah. Be right. What were the symptoms? Just sickness. Headaches. Did you vomit? Yeah, three times. Yeah. Okay. Headaches? I'd parasite, parasite more. Right. Those came right up. Do you know what, you, should, you should probably go to uh, one of the drop-in centers in the city. Yeah, I reckon, yeah. Yeah, it's like... 60 quid. Okay. Znači, ovaj menadžer ga savjetuje da ode na pregled u neki centar, medicinski centar koji je tu negde blizu, 60 funti košta pregled. Što je za to vreme poprilično puno. Consultation. Okay. And they'll sort you out. Alright, sorted. Yeah. Yeah, I will do Just that. Just go at, at like, go before lunchtime. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so it's just, yeah. thanks. Last week, Amit lost £1,200 from just one investment. This loss has hit him hard, and despite being warned by Lex to widen his portfolio and hedge better, he's only managed to place three trades. I've been beaten quite a few times in the last few weeks, so um, it's, it's one of those things, you know, you just, you just got to take it on the chin and move on. The hardest thing is, has been like developing my portfolio. I've just got to deal with it. If you don't deal with it, like I said, you must call it a day. There's always a chance, yeah? There's always a chance. Hopefully. <laughs> For Emil and Sam, weeks on end stuck in an office has at times been a real psychological challenge. Do you feel like a battery chicken? Oh, I feel 
like just like it's like this room and this non-natural light and it's like it's timeless i know trusting myself to make any decisions today either because i'm I'm pissed off and i'm tired Um, yeah and they're two not not very good state of affairs so far deli mi ova dvojica kao da ono kao da ih uhvatio neki neizdrž kao da ono da se nešto čudno dešava ne znam ba, ili je tako samo takva scena ne znam Neil has shown glimpses of real trading ability and was rewarded with 60,000 pounds to invest but today he's adding to Lex's problems da sene ta se 67,000 yeah i was 64,000 He's exceeded the cash limit that Lex has set him. A cardinal sin in trading. I know what I've closed out. I know what I've invested. Doesn't make sense. Like, how do you want me to explain this to? What do you want me what do you want me to say to? Him? Because if I call him now and say you're over, he's going to blow his top. Well, whatever then, I'll just trade out. <sighs> This morning, it's come to light that Emil's broken his exposure limit by 10%, right? And he okay. didn't, and he didn't even realize. Shut the point is, is like they left the office last night and they didn't even check their exposure or their P&L. It's the internet, and I like true it. It's not just gore, kao da vuku stolicu u krug. Znači ono. Ništa ima dalje. Znači Emil je investirao više nego što bi smeo. Sad vidimo šta će biti rešenje i eventualna kazna. Or anything. Right. Yeah. Both Anton and Lex feel part of Emil's problem is his friendship with Cleo. Ali opet sad mislim oni mogu da krive šta god hoće, nego pitanje ako je tebi dato na raspolaganje 60.000 funti, kako ti možeš da investiraš više ako nemaš kapital jednostavno? Što znači da nešto je i kod njih samih u tom mehanizmu i u tim ograničenjima nešto popustilo. Why did it happen? Because he's just not focused. He's not watching his positions properly. He's just going home and he's just chatting to Cleo all day. Mm. He's been distracted again by her. Mm. It's just very difficult to have them both in the office. We just actually can't let this go today. I think um we can't let this go. I know it's like it's one step too far now. Yeah. Mm. He wants a spreadsheet. Right? Yeah. That's not the trade counter. Yeah. Right. And you have to put it together. Yeah. To show cost value versus current value okay. of your positions and exposure right ništa komplikovano okay. ako, it's, it's fairly... ako nema ako nema 15 20 pozicija mislim da nema ovo uopšte nije komplikovano što mu traži znači traži excel tabelu da se vide sve kompanije po kojoj ceni je kupljeno odnosno koja je prosečna kupovna cena kolika je trenutna cena akcije i po tome se vidi da li je u profitu ili nije po pozicijama straight forward okay Lex wants to penalize Emil. He's got to stop trading immediately and compile a list of all his investments from the last six weeks. You can get frustrated, can't you? Yeah, I've managed to switch back on and back. An hour later and Emil's had enough. I don't know if they're crazy, but I think it's important to have a child's calculator, a child's calculator, a child's calculator. You have a child's calculator in front of yourself, you have an Excel, you have... Masu stvari kako bi to mogao da izvedeš, baš ču... I'm not doing it. Seriously, I'm not even doing it now. I'm not, not wasting my time. I'm not wasting my time doing it. Because it's, it's just stupid, this. I wasn't 67,000 over yesterday, I was 63 and a bit. Then you told me 10% over. You... Znači kaže, uh, imao je 60.000 na raspolaganju, ovi su ga obtužili da je bio da je imao 67.000 investirano, što on kaže, wow, nije istina, imao sam 63. Po meni, da li si prebacio za 7 ili za 3, apsolutno sve jedno, druže, ti si prebacio, tako da... That's what's been for the last few days and last week as well, and we all know it. And even admitted now there's a problem in dealing with me because he can't say it face to face. It's absolutely stupid. He has been rude to you, you know, and I'm really not happy about that. It's bullshit, mate. 
all we're doing is is spending all our time and pandering to the guys who are a joke. Yeah. It's always somebody else's fault when you fuck up. Yeah. You know? I hated that. Da, isto, izvinite, ovaj, na par mesta sam primetio da uopšte nisu birali jezik kojim razgovaraju, tako da se provukla i koja psovka. A, to me posebno iznenadilo zbog toga što je ova serija išla na BBC-u, originalno, kada se pojavila na TV-u, tako da mi je baš čudno da je ovako prošlo. Things are getting out of hand. Hmm. Lex is due to arrive tomorrow to distribute the remainder of his million dollars. Uh, isto šta se šta bih onako hteo da postavim kao pitanje. Njih je ostalo sedmro na ove, na raspolaganju odnosno tamo. Uh, Caroline je najbolja i rekli su da ima 90.000 Ovih par troje tipa, Ohi, Emil i koje beše majke imaju po 60, ostali ne znam ni koliko imaju. I sad, uporno se vrti ta neka cifra od milion dolara, ali sve ovo kad se sabere, mi jedva dobacimo do 300-400 hiljada. E sad, naravno, ovo je u funtama, tako da možda kada se uzme neki kurs između, ali ne verujem da je funta bila duplo, duplo jača od dolara. Mogu pogledati kasnije, ali a, čini mi se da... Million, nešto tu, nešto baš i nije u opticaju, ali hajde. Who gets the money and who gets the boot, only Lex can decide. But across the square mile at a breakfast meeting, Lex and Anton are about to bring down the axe. We're running a business. There's only two weeks left. The downtown grant is not really getting much worse, but it's also not improving. So, Cleo... It seems like she's been copying other people's trades. Yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, she's a smart girl. She does analyze, but she's just not a trader. So, um, how about Amit? Amit's hit a brick wall. Major problem. <laughs> Unfortunately for Amit this time, it's just too late. He's hungry for the city life, yeah, the city lifestyle. To set one day, turn around and say, I'm a trader, right? But he doesn't want to do the work. Hmm. I just right. can't see how he's going to make money. Emil? Hmm. I think he's worth an investment. So you think he's got a lot of potential? He's been working hard. Um, he has diversified his portfolio. Mm. However, he's obviously made like a really big error and he broke his limit. And he seems to be talking. Znači, deluje mi kao da, da im se Emil sviđa, ali samo zbog ove greške da ga nešto sad otpisuje. Totally distracted because of Cleo. We've had so much patience, yeah. but we've got to give ourselves a chance to make some money back here. So the question is, let, do we let go of Cleo, do we let go of Amit, do we let go of both? Hmm. Opa. Markets may be the toughest scene for years, but there are no excuses in the city. You're either doing well or you're not. And this fund is down over 10 grand. Emil, Cleo and Amit are about to receive a blunt reality check. Amit, do you have a sec? So the question is, mm. um, why should we keep you? True. <laughs> True. It's, it's your opinion, obviously, isn't it? It's, it's, um, I can't make your decision for you. Um, I will endeavor to try my best and make some money, but if you think I'm going wrong and I'm going the wrong path, then that's your decision to make, you know. Uh, 
po meni skroz pogrešan način da odgovoriš na pitanje, dobio si jasno pitanje zašto da te zadržimo, trebalo bi da daš konkretne argumente, naravno da obećaš da ćeš se popraviti bilo šta, a ne ovakve neke polu retoričke odgovore koji ne znači ništa. Zašto ćeš da ćeš me? I think you've you've seen for the past few days that my uh, piano is moving in the right direction. Right. Um, Dale. We see for the past three days that you've done three trades, sure. of which only one was kind of new-ish. Sure. Hmm. Sure. So why should we keep you? Um, I've got two more weeks left, right? Um, well, you have two more weeks left if you answer the question properly. Okay. Try to convince me. Have, okay, have one. Have at least Preach one. Go. Yeah, Preach sure. Yeah, no. I mean, I believe I can. I can make some money out of this. I've got two weeks to prove myself, Lex. I've worked more harder. I can tell you right now. I am working towards a goal which is to get my PNL back in blue. Because at the end of the day, one more person adding to the PNL on the plus side will be in your benefit. But, yeah, if, but, if, if, but if I give that money to someone who's better, there's even more in my benefit. Hmm. Of course. Okay, fine. Okay. Imao je šansu da se odbrani, imao je šansu da da neke argumente za sebe i čini mi se da je jako loše odradio ovaj razgovor. E sad, možda je samo tako i seckano da u montaži da tako ispadne, ali čini mi se da uopšte nije dao konkretne argumente zašto bi trebalo da ostane. E sad, naravno, možda takvih argumenta i nema. To je sad pitanje. I quite like the way when he's put under pressure, he actually stays pretty calm. I mean, for him, he knows it's the final conversation. Ok. Hmm. Hmm. Pastor? Mm. No. You know, every, all the people have the idea and then, you know, you put it on after them. I've got my But reasons. let's take Nike, right? Yeah, I actually spoke to Emil about Nike. Right. And you... Emil had his own reasons for going into Nike, but... But he had his own reasons. Well, obviously he did, but I... But I so, I... so have, funnily enough, there's, there's a hundred, let's say a hundred thousand stocks in the US. There is, there and, is, and but I'm And funnily you read an article about Nike and he happened to also have his own well, reasons. Well, no, no, no. And you both put it on. I... I... I generate ideas and I do chat to people about my ideas. Seriously, the next two weeks are going to be so much harder. Yeah, but... Why do you want to put yourself through that? Why? Because, because it's, there's not going to be any niceties okay. for niceties' sake. Yeah, but you know what? I don't need niceties like, for like, niceties' sake. Like when Anton yeah. tells you to jump, you have to jump. Okay. That's just the way it has to be because that's the way a trading room operates. And whatever <laughs> personal morals or dilemmas you have... Yeah, you, I leave that aside. Take them home. Yeah, okay, take fine. Take them home because nobody's interested. Okay, fine. So, yeah. why should you stay? I am returning. I wasn't before, but if you go on a progression journey, then I've gone from not returning to returning. So, therefore, in the next two weeks, hopefully, logic would say that I would continue to give you a percentage return on whatever money is invested in me. And you think you can deal with the pressure? Yes. If I'm dealt with in a normal manner, the same as everyone else. There you go again. If I dealt with in a normal manner. No, it I'm doesn't gonna... matter. Like, every, like, if you're on a trading floor, You're always going to think that your boss has it in for you. No, I think you're wrong. Okay, I don't care mm. what you think. This okay. is what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on a trading floor, you're always going to think. You, have you been on a trading floor? Have you worked there for 15 years or for 10 no. years? No. Okay. So I'm, so I'm telling you. And I appreciate not, it. Not, it's no longer an opinion. This is just what it is. Your boss knows what is good. So whatever Anton will say in the next two weeks. It's just the way it has to be, and that's why I'm worried about you. That you actually think, well, maybe you can't deal with it. I think I can. Okay, we're gonna talk more. Okay. <laughs> right. Thanks a lot. If you want me to handle my resignation, I'm not gonna do it. So you're just gonna have to kick <laughs> oh, me out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know when you have a trading position, yeah? Yeah. And like these are our positions really, these people. And you Malo onako. Da kažemo, neukusno je da o ljudima koji ti sede sa druge strane tog stakla pričaš kao da su to tvoje pozicije. I on zapravo gleda svakog tradera kao svoju poziciju. I sad će verovatno da kaže kako treba da iseku gubitnike i da nagrade pobednike. Verovatno će biti nešto na taj fazu. You end up being more praying instead of like just cutting. 
Cleo has made progress and it seems like she's emotionally pretty stable. I think you're wrong. She knows exactly when she has to, to display that she might be, but when she's sitting at that desk, mm -hmm. she's all over the place. We've forced her into being invested and 80% of her positions are replications from the rest of the desk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we say goodbye to Cleo and she starts mm -hmm. crying and getting upset, I'm worried that Emil is going to get like a hissy fit and he will walk out. Mm -hmm. It's just wrong. Like, this is not how a trade... Sad, ne vezano za ovu priču što imaju. Da li mislite da je možda postojalo nešto između devojke Clio i ovog Emila što je sedeo pored nje i što je stalno nešto branio i pomagao je? Baš onako zanimljiva, onako misla koja mi je pala na pamet, možda tu postoji čak i nešto više... Ali ja da ću biti ovdje. Right? No. <laughs> you are actually quite talented, I think. Opa. But your fight for justice of like everything around should be fair. Mm. Like in a city room, you, you wouldn't survive with that attitude. You're but concerned that I'm going to be the person who throws the spanner in the works, which in turn is going to affect the group and the group's performance. No. If you do something that's negative to the group, yeah. you'll just go. Mm. Very simple. I am worried that you're going to do things that will be negative for you. Decisions will be made that you might not like, but it doesn't really matter. I just want you to, to just focus on that screen, invest, hmm. be smart, come up with lots of ideas, build a portfolio and do well. U suštini, ovaj razgovor onako u rukavicama ga priprema da pokuša da ga smiri, da ne reaguje na događaj koji će se dešavati oko njega. Jer verovatno će da teraju Amita i ovu Clio, tako da on sad pokušava njega preventivno da smiri. Emil may be rebellious, but he's a talented trader, and Lex doesn't want to lose him. So your new capital is going to be 75? So you got 15 more, which is the only message that you really should take away. So what do you think? Good. You know, I've got work to do, haven't I? I know you are your own person, and that's why you were chosen. However, our challenge is, for the next two weeks, to make sure we end up with a positive P&L. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, man. Bye, mate. Now it's decision time. Either Cleo, who's struggling to invest, or Amit, who's down £3,000, must go. If I looked at that trading room on Monday, so if you think about what it should look like on Monday, if, if he is gone, yeah, and Cleo is still sitting there, hmm. it just doesn't feel right, does just, it? I just, it just doesn't feel right, it doesn't work. If they're both there, then it feels like we've made no progress. Yeah. Hmm. So I guess she has to go, right? Let's do it. Okay, how are, you gonna, how are we going to put it to her? Is she going to cry? She's going to cry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Hopefully in five minutes it will be over. Clear? I verovatno će sada da krene ona drama sa početka epizode. Jer realno nema još puno do kraja, verovatno je to to. Thanks. Thank you. No worries. So we've had long conversations. Okay. Obviously about the, the benefits of you being here or not being here. Mm -hmm. I've looked at the progress you've made mm -hmm. um, over the last six weeks. And it's been like, like pretty tough. But I think it's, it's, uh, it's not going to work. I'm sorry. Mm. So that's the decision. You're just not a trader. And is, it's just... Is there any point in me fighting my case at all? Not at all. Okay. Yeah, there's no point at all. Okay. We don't want to over-dramatize no. this, right? I mean, it's not like someone has just died or whatever. And in the last two weeks, we need to make our money back. Why don't you just say what you think? Let's, okay. just, be, let's just be, let's give everybody a fair chance. Oh, I don't even, well. You know, that there's probably no point. Got to it, got to it. I mean, it's fair enough that you're upset. If it's any benefit to you, we feel really bad about it. You know, we feel really... No benefit. We, no benefit. I tell you one thing. Seriously. This gives us no pleasure. This gives us no pleasure. Like, okay. it's the same as, like, if you have a bad stock and you want to hold on to it, you know, you're going to have to cut. And we've learned from... 
a on konstantno izjednačava ljude sa pozicijama, odnosno sa akcijama, što je po meni vrlo loše i pogotovo je loše kada to uradiš pred osobom kojoj daješ otkaz. E sad, sa druge strane, ne znam zašto ona baš toliko plače, jer iskreno ne znam koliki bi bili ti bonusi, kolike su te nagrade koje su im obećane, jer realno kad pogledamo, oni svi imaju neke svoje poslove i niko sigurno ne bi postao trader kada se završi snimanje, možda neko i bi, ali nekako mi se čini da je sva ova drama i sva ova plakanja zbog nekih sitnica koje nisu na kraju ni bitne kada se gleda neka šira slika. Experience, if we don't, if we hold on to our bad positions, that we feel our bad positions, we have to get out of the position. No, no, no. So we feel we have to get out of this position. I appreciate that. You know? You know, I do. I just, you know, I feel in light of the fact that, really, I did quite well last week. But isn't that like the best way for it to end? That you feel like actually no, you, you did you everything what, you you did everything you could. The best way to end would be for me to have been given more capital. That would have given me oh, more confidence. That. You know what? When I didn't receive that, this whole thing to me. Was... Clear, you weren't ready for more capital. Be honest with yourself. Honestly, I really was. You went from nine thousand invested with a gun to your head to be more invested to yeah. twenty one. Right? I did. Yeah. So really, without a gun to your head, right? You don't deserve more capital. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hmm. It just, it can't be like that. I appreciate that. Right. It's a frustration at myself and I'm okay. really sorry. It's okay, it's fine. It's fi absolutely Leo, it's fine. Okay. It's much better if you just get it all out in the open. Yeah. You want some yeah. water? Should I get you some water? No, we don't know who was that. No, honestly, I'm absolutely fine. It's just I'm trying to stop myself from crying because it's laughing. I want I know, but that's okay, that's okay. It's so frustrating because you're right. I'm looking for the I'm 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 looking for the perfect thing the whole time. That is why I haven't been trading. You know, if you have to look at like who has the highest IQ, you know, there's probably two or three people, and you and you're amongst them, hmm. but you're just not a trader. Sorry. No, don't worry. Honestly. Sorry. Okay. Um. Probably the best thing. Probably the best thing to do is limit the time spent in the office from now. Okay. Okay. Cool. For a meal, it's the last straw. You know what? People didn't come here to cry. I don't care what you say. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Good. She agreed that she had these chances and she didn't take it. Hmm. Shall we call him in? No, he's too angry at the moment. Let him calm down. Get off. <laughs> You're off. Oh no, it's a joke. And they're all just waiting for her to say it's not a distraction or so. U suštini ceo ne razgovor između Emila i ovog osnivača fonda Lexa je bio u vezi ovog momenta. Da ga spremi, da šta god da se dešava u kancelariji, on treba samo da gleda svoj monitor i da ne obraća pašnju. Međutim, naravno, to se očigledno neće dogoditi. But it's bullshit. It's bullshit. I want to see what he does naturally, without our influence. If he walks. Your decision or not your decision, Cleo? Not your decision, is it? It doesn't matter. It does matter. He's, He's going, going isn't he? emotional. He's going. Hmm. He's pulling off his stuff. There we go. Yeah. Emil, I'm yeah. furious. Emil, please. No, 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 seriously, Cleo, it's not you, honestly. He's gone. Fine. Just chill and let things happen naturally. Well, I... My decision, our decision, people have spoke about it. No, doesn't I... matter, seriously. It's bullshit. I'm... Okay. It's not about you, Cleo. Guys, We're cool on it as well ourselves, honestly. That's it, fall out. Go on. Please stop it. Sam and Amit surprise everyone by walking out in a show of solidarity oh, too. Cleo, it's not you. No, but it would appear like it's me. Well, it's not you. People have made their own decision. It's just people have had nothing. I don't know if it's just my decision. Ali mi delo je da su ustali samo oni loši traderi. To jest oni traderi koji su u minusu trenutno, ako se ne varam dobro. Caroline je u plusu, Ohi mislim da je u plusu i Mike mislim da je u plusu. Oni svi sede, na onom mestu tamo je sedeo Simon skroz iza, on je otišao odavno. Tako da su ustali bukvalno samo oni negativni traderi koji su u minusu. Što za fond kao celinu možda bude dobro jer će realno njih troje sad možda podeliti neki profit ako uspiju da se izvuku za dve nedelje. No, no, Emil, Emil, please. Emil, please. 
okay? Okay, Emil, sit no, down. No, sit no. Down and no, let, no. Let him speak. Let him no, speak. let me speak, yeah, oh. okay? I understand where you're going with everything, how it works in the city and everything else, but there's a fine line when it comes to being human beings, yeah? And now you see other people in the room responding to that. City or no city, it doesn't matter. Why did you, we had a conversation with Cleo, right? Yeah, I know you had a conversation with Cleo. Why did you speak, and I've had a conversation speak, with you, no, and I've had a conversation speak with Cleo. To, speak to her. Speak to Cleo. I don't Cleo need to can speak to Cleo. Yeah, Cleo will explain to people it's not what the conversation just about was. Cleo. It's not I understand, just about I understand. Cleo. Cleo can explain what it's the conversation not just about was in this Cleo, room. Lex. It's about being human. But it's about spending no. six weeks okay. no, I no, I Cleo, it's not you, seriously. No, Emil, I've said already, and I've said to the group. I know, it's not. It's Cleo. This is me being frustrated it's, at it's myself Cleo. and my... You know, it's not just Cleo, it's not just about that letter. To be honest, I really have nothing to say. Cool, not a problem then. I have nothing to not say. Not a problem. I do not know what the fuck is going on here and what the sentiment is in this room. So either we get this out in the open and stop making fucking knee-jerk, crappy judgments... No, Mike, it's not knee-jerk, crappy about it. judgments. Well, yes, it is, Emil, because no, I don't not. know what's going on. My choice, whether I walk out this room, is Absolutely. my choice. So I'm exercising Absolutely. my choice to walk out Fine. the room, yeah? Anyone else who's walking out the room is exercising their own choice. You have your choice whether you stay or you go. No one is compromising you. Cool. OK? Yeah. Not a problem, then. OK. Hmm. I'm, I'm going. Um, okay. And I'd just like to say thanks very Thank much you. to Take everyone. Take it easy. Really? Right. <laughs> you go stay to your call. Oh, cool. Make loads of money. <laughs> I really think you sh you've got two weeks left and you should grasp this time. opportunity. I, this is me. I and you reach a point that. where there's a line crossed. I've said that to you for the last few weeks mm. and it's just crossed it again today. If it wasn't this, it would be something else, trust me. It would be something else and then something else and then something else. Okay? We can't be created in someone else's image or anything else. It's just the way it is. Mm. We always said, this is really, really difficult. Only very few people can do it. If they walk out, then it just shows, yes, it's actually really difficult to make it to the end. No, did I, really. It's been a pleasure. Hmm. Go well. Good luck with this. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Later. <laughs> you know what? I feel so good. That is the best I've felt in six weeks. I feel fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> we should have gotten rid of, of Clear two weeks ago. It's not like our best people left. We left with Ohi, with Caroline. And with Mike, the top yeah, three Mike, yeah. have stayed. Oh, the also. worst people left. People who are actually hmm. losing money will try to find any excuse possible to get out of it because they're hurting. None of us really want to be in an environment where people are treated really badly so, yeah. for the sake of making money. And so it's a real shame, in a way. Ohi is upset by the walkout. The hardcore boys. It's a pleasure. You're the hardcore boys. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Maybe some more. Then she's actually in Napoli, but she's Hmm. Really? Okay. what's your plan? Fact is, as much as I feel the empathy for the others, yeah. I, I'm in it for a different reason, so I want to stay to the end. Well, listen, for a guy, at for a guy end, of your age, that decision yeah. is incredibly mature. Seriously. So, do not feel bad about wanting to do well for yourself in this business. I've seen a lot of people not being able to emotionally deal with it. I've seen people cry on the desk, I've been, seen people throw screens on the floor, you know, I've people, seen people have a fit, I've seen people walk out, run out, lose total control, I've seen it all. So to see four people get up, you know, it's not like, oh, oh, this is really new to me, I've never seen this before, whatever. I just think it's just stupid, you know. To walk out in an emotional manner, like that, just to say, like, oh, I'm going, I can't take this anymore, I'm going, it's just such a sign of weakness. As a team, the chance of me to make money over the next two weeks has gone up three times, so I'm okay. Sve ovo što je rekao više govori o okruženju u kojem ti traderi rade i delo mi da je baš toksično radno okruženje, tako da, ono, nadam se se to promenilo malo, ali ako je tako i dalje, to je baš loše. Nobody has to worry about me. Those who walked have lost their trading rights. Over the next couple of hours until further notice, could you only allow Caroline, Ohi and Mike to trade? Caroline, Ohi and Mike. Yeah, if anyone else rings up.
they're not allowed to trade, okay? No problem. All right. All, All right, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Cheers. It's all down to the final three. They are the traders now trusted with Lex's entire $1 million fund. We now have zero distraction in the office. The rest of the guys were losing money, okay? And you guys are left, which is, a, which is fantastic. So we need a strategy. You're going to be on 200. You guys are on 145 each. We're going to go through every single... Znači, ako je Caroline na 200 i njih dvojica po 145, znači da ono, sigurno postoji neki kurs da je funta bila duplo jača od dolara, pa da je zbog toga pretpostavljeno. Ali hajde, bacit ću pogled kasnije. ...single position and work out whether we should keep it or not. Ok, Amit, TPT. You need to come to a conclusion quick. I wouldn't want to trade it. British American tobacco. I don't want this. ITE. I think it's a Muppet position. <laughs> yeah. Get out of that. Screw it. Out it goes. Do you want to own more Tesco? Yeah, I probably do. Well, this is working out for you, great then. <laughs> Who's got a view on the HMV game group? Yeah. Yeah? Cleo, Tate, forget about it. Yeah? yeah, it's closed. Is that a good trade? Well, I don't want to. Useless. Get rid of that. Useless. Get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this a toxic stock? That just doesn't add up. Maybe that's why he's only made £2.53 in 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> Znači sad oni su vjerojatno prošli kroz sve pozicije ovih ljudi što su otišli, vidjeli su šta ko želi da zadrži i sad će vjerojatno da se ono oslobode svega što je ovi, što su ovi ostali imali. After picking over the bones of the absent traders portfolios, all it takes is one phone call. Repeat, hi, it's Mike, it's Luke there. And over 160,000 pounds of investments are closed. Okay, let's go. I make best execution obviously, yeah? Yeah. Dig up line for me, Rupert. Come on. TP2 LN. Yeah. 5500. Zero, zero. BATS LN. American Tobacco. Correct. Sell 274. 1850. ITE LN. 169.75. ULE LN. 1340 you know, if I want a job as a trader, you know, I can't wring my hands over things like that. Znači, potencijalno postoji onda neka šansa za zapošljavanje kao, kao neki trader u, ili u nekom fondu, možda čak i kod Lexa, što da ne. Tako da, verovatno, zato ovo troje ostaje i dalje tu. Sorry, Sam. It's a bad world. <laughs> With ten days left to trade, the hedge fund now comprises a student, a single mum, and a soldier. As the best performers, they've got to try and claw back some profit from the losses some of the others have left behind. And see who overall will emerge as the best trader. Oh, here we go. Sell 828, 974, spot 5. I'm looking to buy 500 at 875. I'm looking at EVJet. First group, please. Could you confirm the ticker first? Sell 663 at 1507. I want to sell something. 2,500. Let's try and do them in between the spreads. Say 414. Let's do that. 1105. Thank you very much. It's now the last day and the traders have until 12 p.m. to close all their positions. Let's go make some money. Cobham, Charlie, Oscar, Bravo. Done. You sell 1,050 at 11.66. Hey, Lord, I'm looking at Adidasta, ADSGY. I think that you can't just look at a stock as something that goes up and down, like there's an underlying story behind it learn how much everybody loves it or hates it, how much people see their futures in it. You can see all of the greed in this stock and that's quite amazing to see. Hi, it's Caroline at Traders. Um, Whitbread, I think you have to be emotionally very well balanced. If you can't live with having that pressure on you, then trading is not for you. I just hit the bid for 110. Don't make one three nine. This is a viciously, viciously difficult game. 
It's absolutely horrible when the market isn't going your way. Ha, <laughs> bastard. It's just some of the most monstrously uncomfortable I've ever been in my entire life. 27 spot 453, I sell 687. Thank you and good night. Cheers, Carl. Bye. Bye. Done. Yeah, I will miss it. Yeah, I really will. Um, just really enjoy it. And uh, it's just like it's just like soldiering, you know, when it's um, it's really hard graft and you're really cold, wet and muddy. Um, it's great afterwards because you sort of know that you you survived it. How much time have we got left? Not long. Not long. All right, you are done. Okay, then. Thank you very much. Not just a twenty percent. You got to it. Not a I've done three thousand. Sold at three fifty-one. Okay, that completes my book. Are you done? Yes, I am. No way. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Let's see how it goes. And how it's going to go in the past. The bug is going to go into the black, isn't it? I'm not having that. Oh, it's at 3.53 now. Shut up. I want to know. We're done. Superb. And some of the work that they have a very good chemo now when they are all alone. We're going to crunch the numbers. Let's see how you got on. Lex Van Damme is about to deliver his last assessment to the traders. Before he does, he needs their final figures. The past two months have seen incredible market volatility. Even professional hedge funds have struggled, losing on average almost 5%. Ooh, we have now a rapper. S obzirom da je rekao da su profesionalni hedge fondovi ili investicijni fondovi kako god hoćete da ih zovete u proseku gubili 5% u ovom periodu dok su naši traderi bili aktivni. Tako da ako, su, ako je fond kao celina ostvario gubitak od 5% ili manje, bili su bolji od profesionalaca. Over the same period, collectively this fund lost 12,000 pounds or 2.4%. Uuuu, znači izgubili su samo 2,4%, što znači da su bili bolji od profesionalaca. E sad, samo nekako da razmislim, delovalo je jako loše, međutim, nekako mi se čini da postoji razlog, kako da kažem, u samoj postavci eksperimenta da su napravili grešku, jer ako tržište kao celina ide na dole, Oni svojim traderima nisu dali pune svote kapitala odmah u startu, već su postepeno povećavali, što znači da su oni, kako da kažem, da su imali ceo kapital na startu, možda bi ostvarili veći gubitak, ali oni su sa manjim kapitalom pravili manje gubitke i onda na kraju kada se izračuna da su oni na lupam milion dolara napravili samo 12.000 gubitka, to je... To je, kako da kažem, izgleda super. Ne znam metodologiju kako su računali, da li su uzimali u obzir taj neki ponderisani prosek, a ne samo ovako podelili dve cifre i došli do 2,4. So they've performed better than the professionals. Hmm. The most successful individual trader is Ohi, Ooh. who's made a trading profit of 1%. Wow, svaka čast. Of most of the others, you know, you kind of know what you get. But with you, you're just not so predictable. So, you know, you have like really original ideas and you have definitely like moments of brilliance. My thoughts fight each other. Hmm. That's the only way I could put so it. So it's like, it's almost like you have conflict in yourself yeah. that comes through in your trading. Yeah. Profit-wise, you were my best trader. But if I had to pick one trader, it wouldn't be you. Yeah. Because like, I, fe I feel that conflict and I'm worried like, you know, maybe it, it goes the wrong way. But I think that's the one thing that you that you gonna have to work on so you have a lot of potential in you i do think you ne znam zašto ali lex mi se čini da da iz svake dobre situacije nađe nešto loše i nekako uvek nađe način da uvredi osobu sa kojom priča znači sada dečko je ostvario profit jedan jedini u u timu a barem se ja tako razumem a kako da kažem najuspešniji je sve je super i onda kaže da mogu da biram ne bi birao tebe Čuti, zadrži tu misao za sebe, nemoj vređati dečka, pohvali ga, najbolji je i gotovo. Natural born winner. The fact is, through all of the joy and the pain, I did have a lot of fun. It's like playing chess against, you know, 
the rest of the world. <laughs> you have like a really, really high understanding of the game. Like a lot of people who've traded for a long time still don't get that. You got it in, t in two months. You understood it and you made money out of it. So you are very talented. Thanks. <laughs> Jer ako pogledate, on je dečko za kojeg sam mislio da će biti najbolji zato što studira ekonomiju. To je bio glavni razlog zato što on, kako da kažem, akademski ima osnovu na koju može dalje da nadograđuje. Well done, well done. Great. Thanks. Mike also beat the professionals, losing just 1% overall. O, super. You focused, you um, controlled your risk, you didn't get emotional, you didn't behave childish. You know, so you were very dependable. So I really think that, you know, if you want to be in this industry, I would really recommend you. you know? I mean, that is, that's a brilliant compliment. Thanks very much, Lex. We've outperformed the hedge fund index. That's the good news. <laughs> <laughs> the bad news is I lost money. So obviously I would have liked to pay you a bonus. Unfortunately, nobody gives me the cash to pay the bonus. The upside was always going to be about the experience, really. It wasn't going to be yeah. about, you know, the... the millions that I could have earned. It was a really, really difficult period. So you should not underestimate your own achievement. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's... To je ono što kaže, težina opštih uslova se vidi po tom hedge fund indeksu koji je bio 5% u minusu. Mike je kao individua bio samo 1% u minusu, što znači da je on opet bolji od profesionalaca i da je to poprilično dobar rezultat, iako je ostvario gubitak. So congratulations. Thanks, Lex. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Thanks, mate. For Caroline, a 0.5% profit. So if you had to do this... Ali ne znam kako su došli do toga, znači ako je Ohi bio najbolji sa 1, ne znam zašto su prikazali Mike koji je izgubio 1, ako je Caroline imala pola posto profita. Nekako mi deluje da su trebali Ohi pa Caroline pa Mike. Nekako mi deluje da su tu napravili neku zapravo. So like every day, at this degree of intensity where you have to be in the office at 6.30 mm -hmm. and you watch the market till 9 at night. Yep. Do you think that's like sustainable? It's a question of I've got two young children and I'm a single mother and they come first. Yeah, mm -hmm. so if I had to pick one person to come with me, it would be you. Oh, well, thank you for that. You know, I would consider you um, the best trader. I think if there was one moment for me personally over the last 10 weeks that made it worth it was when four people stood up and you were sitting there and you were totally calm and collected. So, mm -hmm. you know, hell broke out and you're sitting there and just like focus on your screen. That for me actually was probably the moment of the last 10 weeks. It was like totally amazing. Hmm. To have three guys in the end who we believe genuinely have the potential to do it is fantastic. We, we, we really actually can be proud. In July, I made 0.3%. <laughs> August I lost 1%, so I lost 0.7% over those two months. So you should just say that all the traders bought you in his fund as a whole. So you guys are before me, and you've not done it before. So obviously I have to sort of like start rethinking my whole existence. <laughs> Mislim, svi se smeju, ali ovo je po meni tragikomično. Da si izabrao ljude koji se nikad nisu time bavili, bacio si ih u vatru i oni su ostvarili bolji rezultat nego što si ti kao profesionalac i ceo tvoj fond ostvario u istom periodu. Sad, opet, ovo negde baca, da kažemo, dve sumnje. Prva sumnja je da su njihovi rezultati bili uslovljeni da kažemo nekim nasumičnim ishodima na berzi i da oni, da, ih, da im daš ponovo sve isto da urade, verovatno ne bi uradili ni blizu tako. Naravno, sa druge strane moguće je da su i njegovi traderi koji rade za njega bili sve isto samo u suprotnom znaku, znači da opet nasumični događaj će baciti skroz drugačije rezultate. I druga stvar što on negde potencira i zašto je uopšte cela serija snimljena, Jeste da on naravno nudi kurs gde obučava ljude kako da budu traderi. I naravno svih ovih osam ljudi je prvo išlo kod njega na kurs pa su onda krenuli da ulažu. Tako da me negdje ne čudi ideja da se predstavi da su oni zapravo bolji od profesionalaca kako bi se stekao taj utisak da je njegov trening toliko dobar da je od nekih nasumičnih ljudi napravio fantastične tradere. So no, so you guys did seriously well. Since leaving the trading floor, 
Sam, Cleo and Emil have returned to their day jobs. Amit continues to trade at home in his corner shop, <laughs> using his own money. Simon is making new plans for his retirement. Ohi has returned to his economics degree. Caroline is planning a new business venture. And Mike is now running a vet practice, but still hopes to become a professional trader one day. Znači, u suštini, niko nije postao trader od njih. Eksperiment se završio i to je to. Ali uglavnom, jako mi je bitno, ovaj kraj nam je zapravo bitan gde je bila analiza rezultata. Jer tu se zapravo vidi cela motivacija. Zašto je serija snimljena? I da su zapravo ovi ljudi koji su nasumično izabrani bili bolji od profesionalaca. E sad, opet, postoje dve strane kako možemo da gledamo. Jedna je kao što sam rekao da ovaj Lex koji je kao osnivač fonda, da on zapravo nudi svoju edukaciju i da želi da predstavi da su ovi ljudi sa njegovom edukacijom eto bili bolji od profesionalaca. A druga stvar koja meni deluje mnogo realnije, jeste da sami profesionalci zapravo nisu ništa posebno i da vi dugoročno ne možete da izaberete pobednički investicijni fond. I onda kada vi uzmete u obzir da investicijni fondovi naplaćuju ogromne naknade, da im prinosi možda i nisu toliko sjajni, da postoji toliko, da kažem, neizvesnosti oko njih, jer najbolji fond jedne godine može biti najgori fond sledeće, Svi ovi argumenti nekako govore da uopšte ne treba ulagati ni vreme, ni energiju, sve to, i da zapravo treba ići pasivnim putem, investirati pasivno kroz ETF-ove koji prate neki indeks i jednostavno rešiti sve svoje investicijone probleme. Ukoliko imate bilo šta da kažete, slobodno pišite ispod u komentarima, nadam se da vam se ovo svidelo, iako je bilo malo duže, Ali nadam se da ste našli negde vremena da onako uz neko kuvanje ručka ili uz neku vožnju da onako poslušate sve ovo i naravno da naučite nešto novo. Tako da hvala vam puno na gledanju i vidimo se sutra u novoj epizodi Vlogmasa. Pozdrav!